When you think Michigan versus Ohio State, you think big hits, great games, and two teams willing to do anything to get the dub. Like, you truly never know what you're gonna get when these two teams play each other. But when exactly was this rivalry at its absolute peak? Chances are, if you're a Michigan fan, you're probably saying sometime around the 90s, like 1995 through 1997. And if you're an Ohio State fan, you're probably saying sometime in the mid to late 2010s. You know, the Urban Meyer era, JT Barrett, Zeke Elliott, a great time to be an Ohio State fan, but looking at this matchup from a non-biased standpoint, from a football fan standpoint, what is the best matchup? For this video, let's just say my favorite college football team is the Ball State University Cardinals. I personally gotta say the peak of this rivalry was none other than November 18th, 2006. On November 18th, 2006, the game transcended past its Midwest roots and captured the attention of the college football world. Number one, Ohio State versus number two, Michigan. Jim Tressel and Lloyd Carr. Both these teams had incredible seasons, building up the hype for this matchup week by week. But enough yapping, let's get to the game. The Michigan Wolverines struck first with a methodical, perfectly orchestrated drive from Chad Henney, which would get followed up by an even more time-efficient drive from Troy Smith and the Ohio State Buckeyes, foreshadowing what this game might have in stock. But right out of the gate in the second quarter, freshman running back Chris Beanie Wells himself, Ohio State at its own 48-yard line, and Chris Wells takes it 52 yards, to the crib. Then after a touchdown by Ted Ginn Jr., the Buckeyes were suddenly up 21-7, completely ambushing the Michigan defense like EDP at a Chipotle bathroom. Michigan would then respond with a great drive led by Mike Hart, making it 21-14 with less than three minutes left on the clock, but Ohio State only needed two minutes to get in the end zone again. The Buckeyes went up tempo and put together their own 80-yard drive capped off with a Troy Smith touchdown to Anthony Gonzalez. At halftime, the two best defenses in college football surrendered a total of 42 points, and it was 28-14 Ohio State. Ohio State's 14-point lead evaporated quickly. Troy Smith opened the third quarter with three straight incompletions, and the Buckeyes were forced to punt. Michigan answered with a 60-yard tutty drive, and Smith threw his only interception of the game. The Wolverines added a field goal to cut Ohio State's lead to only four. Let's just say Michigan was quickly running with the momentum in this one. But just like your gym membership after saying new year, new me, Michigan's momentum quickly evaporated as it only took Ohio State two plays to get it back. Midway through the third quarter, Smith completed his first pass of the half on a quick nine yard out to Ginn. On the next play, running back Antonio Pittman broke through Michigan's defense for a 56 yard touchdown, giving the Buckeyes a 35 to 24 lead. Michigan set up inside the Buckeyes 10 yard line after capitalizing on a fumbled snap by Ohio State, with Mike Hart eventually coming in clutch again, punching it in from one yard out. But with 10 minutes left and a 35-31 lead, Ohio State had the opportunity to like officially put the game away. As it had all game, the Ohio State offense came through once again. 11 plays, 83 yards, just a very efficient drive, taking five minutes off the clock, finishing with a 13-yard dime by Troy Smith. Michigan quickly responded with a touchdown of its own, but then, the onside kick came. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you that this onside kick completely failed and the Ohio State Buckeyes ran out the rest of the game to a 42 to 39 victory over Michigan. But what truly made this game so special? Reason one for me was the hype surrounding it. Two incredibly good defenses, two just overall elite teams, the two best teams in college football at the time, and it wasn't even very close. 
Now, of course, if you're a Michigan fan, this isn't the peak of the rivalry for you. But of course, me as a Ball State University Cardinals fan, this is my favorite Ohio State Michigan matchup of all time. You know what it is. It's 